Hi everyone, welcome back to the April 4th devotion on our Lenten Road to Renewal. I'm Pastor Pamela and we're glad to be together again. Our reading today comes from the book of Acts, which was the book that tells about the birth of the church. And uh, the reading comes from chapter 20, verses 7 through 12. So let's see what the Bible has to say today. On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people, and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. There were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus, who was sitting into a, sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said, he's alive. And then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. And the people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. That's quite a story. Paul was obviously full of thoughts and words on that night. So let's see what our bishop has to say about our reading today. In 1994, there was a popular show called Friends that took place in New York City that was about three women and three men. Four of them all lived in the same apartment complex and faced the ups and downs of life and love in New York. The show lasted for 10 years and there was always something humorous about their friendships with each other or other people. And like any relationships, friendships take love, support, and work if you want them to survive. Interestingly, Aristotle believed that there are three kinds of friendships. Friendships of utility exist between you and someone who is useful to you in some way. Friendships of pleasure exist between you and those whose company you enjoy. And friendships of the good, which are those based on mutual respect and admiration. As we examine the Bible, we witness several examples of friendships and how we should treat each other. For example, consider Abraham and Lot. Abram reminds us of loyalty and going above and beyond for a friend. Abram gathers hundreds of men to rescue Lot from captivity. When Abram heard that his relative had been taken captive, he called out the 318 trained men born in his household and went in pursuit as far as Dan. The scripture in, chap in John chapter 11 says Jesus had a close relationship with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus to a point where they spoke plainly to him and he resurrected Lazarus from the dead. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died, but I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. According to Aristotle's views on friendships, one can deduce that the Apostle Paul's relationship with the Ephesian elders could fall into three categories, excuse me, could fall into all three categories. Paul was useful to the new converts at Troas by teaching and exposing them to the gospel. There was mutual admiration and respect fostered between Paul and the Ephesian elders. And the text reveals they definitely enjoyed each other's company as Paul engaged them in worship all the way to midnight. Paul had been a resident of Troas for two years and he was saying his final goodbyes. However, there are scholars who believe that Paul and the elders model friendship and love. The respect and admiration of Paul's friendship is maintained because of his witness to the Jew and Gentile about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul had been on a quest for two years sharing his Christian journey with the new converts. His life was transparent and his friendship was based on integrity. This is Paul's last farewell speech to the Ephesian elders before he faces captivity. His speech covered warnings about the future, appointment of successors, encouragement to follow the teachings, blessings, and a prayer for those who are left behind. However, as the story unfolds, Eutychus falls asleep and tumbles from a three-story window to his death. Paul goes downstairs immediately and throws himself on the body. Eutychus is revived immediately. Paul returns to his meeting place and continues to engage in worship until daylight. Proverbs 18.24 states, Some friends play at friendship, but a true friend sticks closer than one's nearest kin. Paul showed not only love and care for his brother Eutychus, but a deep witness to the people of Troas that one's life 
and spiritual soul were important. Dale Carnegie, American writer and developer of famous courses on life skills states, you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people to be interested in you. I think that's a great quote. And whether this text is a fascinating story or a model of friendship, the Bible reveals that greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Let's pray. Lord, the world competes for all my attention. Let my friendships be a model of love, care, and mutual respect and admiration. Amen. We hope you have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.